The Prime Minister gave a commitment that she would treat Scotland as part of a union of equals. Yet last night she pressed ahead with a power grab in direct opposition to Scotland's elected parliament. The Prime Minister silenced Scotland's voice. Will the Prime Minister now commit to bringing forward emergency legislation so that the will of the Scottish Parliament can be heard and, more importantly, respected? Can I say to the right honourable gentleman that we do expect that the outcome, and it will happen, that the outcome of the whole process of Brexit is going to be a significant increase in Holyrood's decision-making power. It is, not, it is not the case that this is in any way a power grab. But Mr Speaker, under the circumstances, oh, given the money. disrespect that's shown, I have got no option but to ask that this House now sits in private. I am not hearing that at this time, and I am not obliged to do so, is my clear understanding. Order, the Honourable Gen- Order! The Right Honourable Gentleman can resume his seat. I will happily take advice, but I do not think I am obliged to hear that at this time. We could have the vote now, but we could, order, we could have a vote now, and, or it could be taken at the end. If the Honourable Gentleman wishes to indicate a desire to conduct such a a vote now. So be it. Right. There can be a division, and it will be at the end of this session, not now. That is the end of the matter. The Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, might I ask? No, no, I'm not debating. No, resume your seat. Resume your seat. I'm telling you that there can be a vote at the end of this session and not now in light of the persistent and repeated refusal of the right honourable gentleman to resume his seat when so instructed I order the right honourable gentleman to withdraw immediately from the house for order for the remainder of this day's sitting With the amount of people leaving, it feels like one of my after-dinner speeches.